died alone without us. And all we want is justice. A family asking for your help finding their loved one's killer tonight. The medical examiner's office has identified 44-year-old Heron Chase as the man found shot outside Big Castle Smokehouse near I-10 and Dietrich on the Far East Side early Saturday morning. Garrett Bernter talked with his family about their loss and what they want from their community. Garrett. The phone rang in the early hours of Saturday morning, pulling the Heron Chase's family members from their dreams and thrusting them into a cruel reality they could only wish was a nightmare. Police say two men were fighting in the parking lot of Big Castle Smokehouse when one pulled out a gun and popped off several shots. Chase was hit and died at the scene. When police said another person arrived at a nearby hospital with gunshot wounds, saying they were also shot at Big Castle's. Chase's family doesn't believe he was involved in the reported fight, and they say he did not deserve what happened to him. He's a good man. He might have lived the life of whatever, but he changed his life. He was about his kids, his family, if you knew him. He'll cry with you. He'll laugh with you. He'll even pray for you. Chase loved everyone, his sister said, and had five kids. It's partly for their sakes that she wants help finding the shooter, who police say took off. We just need help. We don't want anybody else to get hurt in this. We just really want my mother heart to be at rest and my brother to go to heaven for peace. Now his sister says she's hoping the shooter might turn himself in or herself in. And in any case, if someone knows something, she's hoping they'll come forward. If you have information, you can call the homicide unit at 210-207-7635. Live at SAPD headquarters, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. The Bear County Jail has released the mugshot of a former Bear County Sheriff's detention officer who was arrested on an assault charge. 28-year-old Ada Santos has been with the Bear County Sheriff's Office since January 2017. Today, she received a personal visit from Sheriff Javier Salazar in jail, letting her know her termination was effective immediately. Earlier this year, she was suspended for five days over detrimental conduct. She's now charged with assault, bodily injury, family violence. Two people facing drug charges tonight after being pulled over in Converse. This photo was shared on the Converse Police Department's Facebook page. During the traffic stop, officers searched the vehicle and arrested the driver and passenger for delivery of a controlled substance, including half a pound of methamphetamine and Xanax. The two are also facing charges of felon possession of a firearm. New on the night beat vehicles towed from floodwaters, residents trapped in subdivisions and a flooded family reunion. These images just a glimpse of the issues rain caused throughout our area overnight. The night team's Devin Clark gives us a closer look. It wasn't hard to find areas with land already saturated by last week's rain, falling victim to flash flooding this weekend. A car partially submerged in flood water had to be removed with a tow truck over on Avenue B near the Pearl, an area that saw an inch of rain last night. It was really frightening. One viewer reporting major flooding woes at subdivisions in Bandera near Bottle Springs and Wharton's Dock Roads. They were completely blocked off today by flooding on either end and cannot come in or go out which left people stuck inside and people stuck outside. Radar estimated around 2.8 inches of rain for that area overnight. Residents say even this afternoon, water was still rising. And it was kind of a dangerous situation where people were still wanting to cross and didn't know the roads had been closed yet. Over on the east side, areas near Rigsby Road saw nearly an inch of rain last night. We didn't think we were going to be able to do the reunion, but we're happy. One family kept bright spirits. Even though their reunion planned for Pavilion 1 in Comanche Park had to be moved to a hall at the park known as the Corral. They moved up up ground in order for us not to be in the flood zone and them have to come rescue us. The situation wasn't any better at Pavilion 3 in Comanche Park. As you can see right now, I'm standing in water up to my knees. It gets even deeper the further you go back. And we're also hearing reports that in some places it's above picnic tables. The gates had to be closed to Government Canyon State Natural Area due to flooding after a reported one and a half inches of rain overnight. Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News. 
Good evening. Let's take a look outside with live cam 75 degrees in San Antonio. We've got a lot of clouds out there and we have had some showers this evening after a very rainy start to the day. And as you just saw with Devin's story there, we've gotten so much rain this week. Certain areas, especially west of 35, the ground is so saturated, so it didn't take much rain at all last night and early this morning for those flooding issues to occur. Let's talk about the rain we've gotten so far in September. So through all of June, July, and August, we got 6.2 inches of rain. The first nine days of September, we had nine and a half inches of rain. That is fantastic. The aquifer is responding well. It's up more than 16 feet since Labor Day. I'm gonna have a live look at radar for you coming up, as well as what you can expect tomorrow morning as you head back to work and school. Courtney. Thanks so much, Katie. Another top story, a San Antonio firefighter in trouble with the law tonight. 31-year-old Jesus Cuevas was arrested around two this morning for suspicion of DWI. Records show his blood alcohol content was above the legal limit at 0.15 or higher. We've contacted the San Antonio Fire Department about the arrest and a fire spokesman confirmed they do have a firefighter by that name, but they could not confirm it was the same person before checking with the city's human resources. Another incident involving the Bear County Sheriff's office a deputy's personal car was repossessed with some of his county issued SWAT equipment inside but BCSO says that equipment has been recovered the deputy's car taken from his apartment complex on the far west side on Friday we're told an AR-15 ballistic vest and radio were in the trunk after two days of trying to retrieve the items BCSO recovered them this afternoon we're currently waiting to hear back from the sheriff's office on whether it is standard practice to leave that type of equipment in a personal vehicle so far we've not heard back Headlines around Texas tonight. We're getting our first look at the mugshot of the Dallas police officer accused of fatally shooting a man inside his apartment. Investigators arrested Amber Geiger tonight. She is accused of shooting and killing 26-year-old Botham John after mistaking his apartment as her own. Geiger is a four-year veteran of the Dallas Police Department. We've learned she was also involved in another shooting incident last year after a suspect took her taser. The Texas Rangers have taken over the investigation and have postponed seeking a warrant on manslaughter charges. This weekend, the victim's church paid tribute to him as friends and family mourn his passing and await answers. It has been a hectic few weeks for one dog rescue group in Austin, or in Houston rather. Over the last few weeks, they've managed to rescue more than 100 dogs left on the streets there that they say could be dozens more out there. Since most of the dogs are similar mixed breeds, rescuers believe they've been dumped by black market breeders who are most likely cleaning house. They have been overwhelmed with so many dogs and so many dogs out of warehouse and then getting sick. What are they going to do? They can't sell them. They can't do nothing with them. They dump them. The Homeless Angels Rescue Team now trying to raise reward money to find out who that person is that dumped the dogs. They say despite being overwhelmed, they will try to catch any other dogs still out there on the streets. A tight U.S. Senate race is coming to a head in Texas between Democrat Beto O'Rourke and incumbent Republican Senator Ted Cruz. This weekend, both candidates attended rallies where they were met with enthusiasm from their supporters. I voted for him the first time, and I think he'd be a great senator again. Jay Westfall and hundreds of others packed the Faith West Academy Gymnasium in Katy to support Ted Cruz's re-election bid. So many people showing up, there weren't enough seats. But across town, the Democrat in the race was greeted with similar enthusiasm. A Democrat hasn't won a statewide race in Texas since 1994. Beto O'Rourke is hoping to be the one to end that streak. We'll be in San Angelo, we'll be in the Third Ward. We'll be in Brownsville, Texas, but we'll also be in Lubbock and Amarillo. Everyone is deserving of being heard, of being represented, of being fought for, of being served. And so this, this election's about all of us. Cruz touted the accomplishments of Republicans over the last two years. However, the latest polling shows Cruz no longer holds a double-digit lead over O'Rourke. This election comes down to one word, turnout. Turnout, turnout, turnout. Yeah. Our biggest danger is complacency. Cruz says the left is energized and shouldn't be underestimated, but... If, if common sense conservatives show up and vote, we're going to have a really good election. Despite that confidence, President Trump will headline a major rally in October for the incumbent. O'Rourke, though, is not intimidated. We, the people of Texas, welcome the president to come to this state. We want this to be a, a positive visit for him. But ultimately, this, this election in Texas will be decided by the people of Texas.
Still ahead on the night beat, a church in New Mexico grabbing the attention of investigators, the faithful flocking to a statue that reportedly shed tears, others questioning whether it was a miracle or just mischief. And you may know the dangers of driving while impaired, but what about riding in the passenger seat with an impaired driver? Do teens do it? What researchers uncovered in their study still ahead on the night beat. And up next, he used to be a campaign advisor for President Donald Trump. Now, after being sentenced on Friday, George Papadopoulos speaking out publicly. What he has to say about Attorney General Jeff Sessions. But first, making headlines around the world tonight, seven people hurt in a knife attack in central Paris, but police said terrorism is not suspected. Two British tourists were among those injured. Authorities say the attacker is under arrest. The Paris prosecutor's office now handling that investigation. President Donald Trump is thanking North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. This after the president says North Korea decided to withhold its most advanced missiles from today's military parade. The parade marking the 70th anniversary of its founding to civilian efforts to build its economy. A summit in Singapore pushed for the goal of denuclearization. In a tweet today, the president said, quote, we will both prove everyone wrong. There is nothing like good dialogue from two people that like each other and quote. Monday on GMS Day, while local Girl Scouts say their need for volunteers is so crucial. We really need volunteers. The troop setting can't happen without volunteers. Last week was wet. How about the upcoming week? Any more rain? Find out Monday at 4 30 to 7 on Good Morning San Antonio. For concrete lifting, leveling, and void filling under concrete surfaces, call Baird Foundation Repair and ask for poly level. people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, more than 100 Americans die each day in traffic crashes, and more than 6,000 per day are injured. If you were injured in a car crash, call Thomas J. Henry. Thomas J. Henry handles serious auto accident cases and gets serious results for injured clients. Call today. Thomas J. Henry is available 24-7, nights and weekends. Every September 11th, nearly 4,000 HEB partners volunteer their time for first responders all across Texas. It's all part of HEB's Helping Heroes program to serve over 600 fire stations. HEB is proud to serve our Texas neighbors by giving back to those who serve our communities. September 11th is such a significant event for all Americans, especially first responders. Because this is our home too. This is the Helping Here Department at HEB. These are the faces of the more than 300,000 people in this part of Texas who could lose their health care coverage because they have a pre-existing condition or will no longer be able to afford their premium. All because Will Hurd put politics before us when he voted eight times to repeal the Affordable Care Act. I'm Gina Ortiz-Jones. I approve this message and I will never put politics before you. At the Kaylig Auto Group, our goal is to provide our customers with an outstanding sales and service experience as measured by each manufacturer's highest award, like Ford Motor Company's Triple Crown Award earned by Blue Bonnet Ford in 2017, making them one of only three dealers in Texas to earn this prestigious award. And Blue Bonnet Jeep is the only two-time winner of the Customer First Award for sales and service excellence in Texas. You'll get no hassle posted pricing and respect for your time at every dealership of the Kaylig Auto Group. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. The CEO of CBS now resigning after more allegations of sexual harassment surfaced. A statement posted on the CBS website says Les Moonves' resignation is effective immediately. Allegations first surfaced back in July. The network's chief operating officer will serve as president and acting CEO until a replacement is found. 
In the meantime, the network says Moonves's chairman position will remain open. Former Trump campaign advisor George Papadopoulos speaking publicly for the first time since his sentencing on Friday. ABC's Tara Palmieri has the latest. In his first interview since his sentencing on Friday, former Trump campaign advisor George Papadopoulos continues to maintain that Attorney General Jeff Sessions did not push back against the idea of a Trump-Putin meeting. The candidate Trump at the time nodded at me. Uh, I don't think he was committed either way. He was open to the idea, and he deferred, of course, to then uh, s a senior uh, Senator uh, Jeff Sessions, who uh, I remember being quite enthusiastic. But Jeff Sessions telling Congress in 2017 that he did push back against Papadopoulos's idea of setting up that meeting. I, that I wanted to make clear to him that he was not authorized to represent the campaign with the Russian government or any other foreign government for that matter. Papadopoulos disputes that. Oh, my recollection differs from uh, Jeff Sessions. Papadopoulos' interview comes as the president continues to deal with the legal issues surrounding a non-disclosure agreement with adult film star Stormy Daniels. The president's attorney filing papers saying the president will not enforce the agreement, which barred Daniels from discussing their alleged affair. Following the lead of his former lawyer and longtime fixer Michael Cohen, on Friday, Cohen offered to tear up the NDA and have Daniels return the $130,000 asking the court to dismiss the case, including Daniel's countersuit. Last month, Cohen pled guilty to eight felony charges, including one campaign finance violation in connection with the $130,000 payment to Daniel's, exceeding the maximum contribution. Tara Palmieri, ABC News, Washington. Well, you showed us all those inches of rain just a few minutes yes. ago, and you think, oh, okay, well, it must be over. Not over yet. No, yeah. <laughs> some folks are still going to get some pretty heavy rain tonight. Here in town, I think we'll just be looking at some passing showers tonight and through the start of the day tomorrow. But I actually have to show those the rainfall again because I actually had our rain through the first nine days of September a little bit lower. The final rainfall for today pushes us up to over 10 inches of rain through the first nine days of September. And again, you compare that to three months, June, July, and August. We're already four inches above that. Crazy, but very beneficial rainfall, and we sure needed it. A time lapse beginning middle of the afternoon. You're going to notice some uh, little showers coming in here, some nice downpours, some darker clouds late in the afternoon, early in the evening, so some little splash and dash showers moving on through. 82 is our high today. That's 10 degrees below average this time of year. Enjoy that because we will be warming back up this week. 82 right now, uh, and that was our high today. Excuse me, 85 in New Braunfels was the high. 79 in Kerrville, 73 in Rock Springs. So you stay locked into a little extra cloud cover further to the northwest today but overall I mean nobody was in the 90s that's that's pretty good that's that's pretty good and we still have some rain going tonight some more widespread rain down to the south uh, south of San Antonio and south of the I-10 corridor I do want to zoom into Bear County just a little bit because we do have some very light showers mainly on the far northwest side of town uh, and north of Castroville uh, there in Medina County and then a little bit further to the southwest off to the west of Pearsall a little thunderstorm that has some uh, gusto to it here several lightning strikes but that is moving off to the west toward La Prior would arrive there probably in another 30 45 minutes or so and then some other uh, kind of swathes, swatches of uh, heavier rain down to uh, the southwest as you get down closer to the valley and I think that's where rain is going to stay concentrated for the most part tonight. We're going to have some pockets of some widespread rain southwest of San Antonio. So our folks, Catula, Carrizo Springs, uh, Pierce Hall, you could see another round of rain again overnight tonight. And your ground, very, very saturated as well. So a couple inches of rain could lead to some localized flooding issues overnight through the start of the day tomorrow. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind here in San Antonio. Don't be surprised to have some passing showers tonight. And roads could be a touch slick as you head out the door tomorrow morning heading into your Monday afternoon some more passing showers will be possible but coverage will start to go down just a bit everybody's still under a flash flood watch if you're in green until tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. With some of these passing showers, an additional half inch to inch of rain is possible. But again, off to the southwest, the places we talked about, like Catula, La Prior, you could pick up another three to five inches of rain. That'll be very localized, but that's not out of the question through the start of the day tomorrow. Do you want to talk about Hurricane Florence? You've likely heard a lot about this already. Uh, 90 mile per hour sustained winds gusting up to 115 miles per hour, and Florence is expected to strengthen over the next couple of days. Approaching the coast of the Carolinas on Thursday evening, as a category four 
hurricane. Very unfortunate for that portion of the East Coast. And it looks like this is going to pull a lot of rain into a portion of the mid Atlantic. They're talking several feet of rain heading into the coming weekend. So something we'll be keeping you updated on, but otherwise very active. So we have now Hurricane Isaac just became a category one hurricane. Category one Hurricane Helene off closer to Africa, but a little bit closer to home. We do have a disturbance that we're going to be watching. The National Hurricane Center has flagged this disturbance down in the Caribbean, gives it a 20% shot of developing, developing over the next five days or so. It's going to have to track over the Yucatan Peninsula, which I think is really going to keep it from getting its act together at all through the middle of this week. But by the end of the week, if it can make it into the Gulf, it could toss us some extra cloud cover and maybe some better rain chances for next weekend. So that's a part of our forecast that we'll be tweaking over the next couple of days. Tonight, not falling very much from where we are right now, temperature wise into the low 70s. Chances for passing showers with more of that heavier rain and a little bit more widespread down to the southwest. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer mid to upper 80s, plenty of humidity and some passing showers possible through the course of the day. This week, you may think low 90s. OK, that's not too bad, but it is going to be steamy. <laughs> it is going to be steamy. Our dew points are going to stay very high, so and that mold's going to be high, too. Get ready for that. Yes, oh, I'm sorry. Humidity hair and the mold is just killing me. <laughs> well, we got a lot of rain. So I know. That's a good hey, thing. you know, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. <laughs> Still ahead on the night beat, Serena Williams facing a fine after her performance at the U.S. Open. Three code violations mounting up to tens of thousands of dollars. Her reaction next. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto or truck accident, call 210-222-2288 or Google Carabin Shaw. Anything you can do here, you can do here at RedMacombsToyota.com where you'll save big on hundreds of award-winning Toyotas. Log on today and get current incentives. Apply for financing. Get an instant value on your trade and schedule service 24-7, 365. So log on at RedMacombsToyota.com or hurry to the all-new Red Macombs Toyota under the giant flag on I-10 at UTSA Boulevard. RedMacombsToyota.com the aquifer is up 1.6 feet from yesterday and up more than 15 feet since Labor Day. Mold and Fall Elm are the two allergens in your pollen cow. Ulysses, his sister Molly, Henry, who's seven. I want to be there with them, but more importantly, I want to anticipate the question that they're going to ask me in the years to come. When everything that mattered to us was on the line, where were you? Let's meet the pettiness, the bigotry, the anxiety that dominates so much of national life today with a courage, a strength, a big heart that could only be born of Texas. I'm Beto O'Rourke and I approve this message. Every job gets easier when you bring a full crew. Introducing the completely reinvented Ranger Crew XP-1000. It's got the most power, the highest clearance, and the biggest payload. The all-new Ranger Crew XP-1000. More rugged, more refined, more Ranger. Get great deals on the off-road's best during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. Friendship is the Texas state motto. And our way of being friendly is with dessert. Get the Texas Blizzard Meal Deal. A hunger buster, fries, a drink, and a mini blizzard, all for $5.99. Eat like a Texan. DQ. The Labor Day sale at Mattress Firm has been extended through Tuesday. And Brecken and Maryland can tell you, with time running out, this is a deal you don't want to sleep on. Don't miss your chance to take home a free adjustable base up to a $699 value free with your qualifying mattress purchase. Or through Tuesday, get a king-size mattress for the price of a queen and a queen for a twin. Plus, every bed is on sale with savings of up to $600. Hurry in. The Labor Day sale is extended through Tuesday only. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. Rush in and score huge savings on trucks and Jeeps at North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat. It's Ram Power Days. Get into a 2018 Ram Lone Star Crew Cab. $15,000 off and only $289 a month. And no payments for 90 days. Or get $7,000 off a 2018 Jeep Wrangler during Jeep Adventure Days. We have several to choose from at your savings destination. North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat. One block south of North Star Mall open Sunday. 
Sarita Williams fined a total of $17,000 for three code violations during a loss at the U.S. Open final. The losing match happened yesterday, but just a day later, the tournament referee's office docked Williams for verbal abuse, breaking her racket, and for coaching. The money will come out of her $1.85 million in prize money. Umpire Carlos Ramos said her coach gave her hand signals that were not allowed. A full game penalty was issued after Williams told the umpire, quote, you stole a point from me and you are a thief, end quote. In a post-match news conference, Williams accused Ramos of sexism. For me to say thief and for him to take a game, it made me feel like it was a sexist remark. I mean, like how uh, he's never took a game from a man because they said thief. <clears throat> The U.S. Open said the umpire's decision was not reviewable, while the Women's Tennis Association said they will be looking into what happened. Williams congratulated opponent Naomi Osaka for her victory Saturday, a first for a Japanese player. Week one of the NFL season is underway. The Cowboys could not have looked worse, and the Texans, well, hey, they were better than we thought. Instant Replay making its hour debut tonight. With more, let's check in with our Greg Simmons. And what I saw from the Cowboys today is what I saw exactly in their training camp. Not good in the passing game. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina unless you're the Cowboys and the Texans had their hands full of the Patriots in New England. Coming up on a brand new hour-long edition of Instant Replay tonight. That look from head coach Jason Garrett says it just about all the Dallas Cowboys offense collapses in Carolina Today, Dak Prescott could not have looked worse. The offensive line could not handle the pass rush delivered by the Panthers' defense. As a result, the Cowboys could only score eight points. All that came on just two plays in the fourth quarter. Case at 12 Sports is in Carolina tonight to get the locker room reaction on the Dallas debacle. We will be going live to Larry and Charlotte. The Houston Texans, meantime, gave the Patriots a run for their money as New England only beat Houston by just one touchdown. And get this, the Cleveland Browns did not lose today. We'll have highlights from every single NFL game played in Week 1. Is Randy Gregory about to be suspended again by the NFL after suffering a relapse in his drug rehabilitation. The sports guys are back again tonight, live from North Carolina and San Antonio. Spurs top draft pick Lonnie Walker IV making an appearance at the AT&T Center in the second annual Spurs Sneaker Jam. What does he have to say about not being able to suit up alongside Manu this coming season? He will tell us. All that plus, what best describes what happened in today's Cowboys-Panthers game? The Panthers' defense was outstanding or the Cowboys' offense was terrible? Tonight, you decide. Instant replay is live for one hour at 11 o'clock. A lot of ugly football out there today. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Greg. We'll look forward to it. Coming up next, it's a new era for Miss America. They're keeping their eye on the prize, but the journey to get there, a little different this year. We're breaking down the changes coming up. And a church at the center of an investigation after a statue was reported to be crying. What was found and how church members are reacting? That's next. Stay with Thieves are getting more brazen, so the battle to protect your mail is getting an upgrade. Monday, a crime fighter's report. How federal agents recently set a high-tech trap, who they caught, and why it could end up in a very long prison sentence on the night beat. Ashley Home Store's Furniture and Mattress Labor Day Sale is held over. Save up to 35% off or get no interest for 60 months. Absolutely ends Monday at all four San Antonio Ashley Home Stores. Commercial vehicles, box trucks, and 18-wheelers can cause catastrophic accidents due to their size, load, and speed. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto or truck accident, call us. We can help. Call 210-222-2288 or Google Carabin Shaw. Ah, uh, folks, this is your pancake speaking. If you look out your window, we're flying over IHOP's delicious international pancake combos. Sweet Trace Leches. A pancation wonderland with views of Belgian chocolate, Trace Leches, and vanilla spice. Pancakes. 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 You know, let's back this thing up and take another look. Go on a pancation with International Pancakes at IHOP, starting at $4.99. Kick off September with a new car from West Loop Mitsubishi. Score big savings this football season on sale now. This new 2018 Outlander Sport at only $17,383 or $179 per month. Get this new sporty 2018 Eclipse Cross at only $18,497 for only $189 per month. For the lowest prices, shop online at westloopmitsubishi.net. And remember, we'll give you the best price in town or $1,000 cash. West Loop Mitsubishi, Loop 410 West, between Ingram and Culebra. We're open Monday through Saturday until 9 p.m. Well, the Martins came over, we were having spaghetti when we suddenly noticed that we started getting sweaty. So I grabbed the keys and we ate it in the car. And that's when my friend said, you gotta call Rosenbergair.com. We give you full service and they never take long. Home energy makeover, I've been told, will help you when it's hot or cold. Yeah, Rosenbergair.com. 
special financing available on select train comfort systems. It's hard to stop a train. Rosenbergair.com. Thomas J. Henry consistently achieves multi-million dollar results for injured clients. been hurt. Call Thomas J. Henry. Ashley Home Store's Furniture and Mattress Labor Day Sale is held over. Save up to 35% off or get no interest for 60 months. Absolutely ends Monday at all four San Antonio Ashley Home Stores. Was it a miracle or just mischief? That's what investigators are trying to figure out after a church statue was reported to be crying. Yeah, the case is centered around a church in New Mexico. The Diocese of Las Cruces has been conducting tests on the tears since they first appeared. They say testing so far shows the tears are made of scented olive oil, similar to what is used during baptisms. They said last month they had to had yet to find a natural explanation, but would continue to investigate and quote, if it's determined to be supernatural, they must discern if it's from God or the devil. The congregation has grown. People have gotten closer to the Lord. Whether it's true or not, it's what's in our heart. And all God wants is a contrite heart. Despite the lingering questions, some parishioners say they will continue to visit to try to witness this for themselves and to pray. Around America tonight, President Trump's star has returned to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Back in July, 20, a 24-year-old man was arrested and charged with felony vandalism after destroying the star with a pickaxe. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce unveiled the replacement star yesterday. In a statement, the chamber encouraged anyone upset with President Trump to go to the polls rather than destroy public property. Well, for the first time in nearly a century, the Miss America pageant has nixed the swimsuit competition. ABC's Kendis Gibson takes a look at the new era for Miss America. The 98th Miss America. Mia Franklin, New York, you are Miss America 2019. Congratulations. It's crown and that traditional walk down the runway. All icons of pageants pass, yet this year, the Miss America contest making a concerted effort to mix things up. Gone are the swimsuits, a staple for nearly 100 years. Instead, in its place, an onstage interview competition. Society is obsessed with technology and social media. How can we improve our face-to-face -face communication skills? Unfortunately, technology has made us dehumanize one another. We start to look at people as Democrats or Republicans, black or white. There's no gray area anymore, and that's really important in 2018. We're not just one kind of person. We're a multifaceted, complex people. And the women on this stage, we represent that. The person ushering in this new era is the organization's chairwoman and Miss America 1989 winner, Gretchen Carlson. We're interested in what makes you you. Yet all these changes, not without controversy. At odds, the majority of state pageant organizations unhappy over the decision to scrap the swimsuit competition. And then... There's the outgoing Miss America, North Dakota's Kara Mund, who says she has been systematically bullied, silenced, and marginalized by leadership, including Carlson. I knew that I couldn't walk away from this year knowing that the next girl was going to come into it. Officials, including Carlson, deny the accusations. Despite recent controversies, the 51 young women who vied for the crown staying focused. The winner with a new title and a $50,000 scholarship. Candace Gibson, ABC News, New York. In your consumer headlines tonight, Apple says China tariffs could make their products more expensive. The U.S. has proposed $200 billion worth of tariffs on Chinese goods. Apple said its wireless AirPods and the Apple Watch could see an increase in cost. Other tech companies said tariffs would make networking equipment more expensive. They also said it could hurt their bottom lines and lead to possible loss of American jobs. President Donald Trump took to Twitter to address the issue, saying there is an easy solution where there would be zero tax. He said Apple should make their products in the U.S. instead of China. Keeping your credit score high can help you gain more buying power, but what if your score has hit a slump? The night team's Patty Santos shows you three tips to give your score a boost. If you've got bad credit, that's a good thing. What's your credit score? According to financial coach Alok Deshpan, a low credit score can actually be a blessing in disguise. You can't borrow any more money. 
and a lot of times that will protect you from you. But there are perks to raising your credit score, and there are three things you can do right now to help with that. Number one, pay your bills on time. One bill that's late as far as a bank is concerned in the credit reporting agencies means that you're in some form of financial distress. You didn't have the money to pay for it. Two, keep your credit use low, preferably below 30% of what's available to you. Let's say that you have a $1,000 limit on your credit card, but you're using 800. Well, what the bank thinks is, man, you're using every piece of credit that you've been given. That might mean that you don't have any cash. And number three, avoid applying for credit in a lot of different places. The more of those that you sign up for, the more it looks like you're going out there looking for money. And that's a concern for credit reporting agencies. Instead, opt for a secured credit card. It works just like your normal credit card, but the limit you get is based on a deposit you put down. And the credit card issuer can pull money from the deposit if you don't make a payment. Instead of focusing on how do I improve my credit, let me focus on building the right financial behaviors and the credit will automatically follow. It's also important to stay on top of your credit report to look out for mistakes or fraud. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. Taking a look outside with live cam this evening, 1035 and 75 degrees. A lot of clouds out there, but not so much rain right now in San Antonio. Though I do think we could have some passing showers overnight tonight. Temperatures not too shabby, 77 in Gonzales, 76 in New Braunfels, 68 in Rock Springs, 72 in Kerrville. Now this would be great if our dew points weren't also in the 70s because as you know, it is muggy out there. A couple of showers just to the west of San Antonio, north of Castroville, but we have some more widespread and slightly heavier rain down to the southwest and I expect that to stay south of San Antonio overnight tonight but some of our folks down Petula, La Prior, you could pick up a couple more inches of rain tonight so something to keep in mind. Heading to the bus stop in the morning low 70s and chances for passing showers north northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now uh, some folks got too much rain over the past couple of days and that was the case in Bandera. Some big flooding up to the northwest of San Antonio. Uh, this was the view this morning as you saw in Devon's story a little bit earlier but the rain here specifically was beneficial and I'm going to tell you why coming up in just a couple of minutes. Tim. Thank you Katie. Still ahead we're marking our calendars with several major headlines we'll be following this week. A preview of some of them as we look ahead. And researchers taking a different angle when it comes to drinking and driving. Would teens take the chance of getting in the passenger seat knowing the driver was impaired? Well that's next. Monday on GMSA, why local Girl Scouts say their need for volunteers is so crucial. We really need volunteers. The troop setting can't happen without volunteers. Last week was wet. How about the upcoming week? Any more rain? Find out Monday at 430 to 7 on Good Morning San Antonio. RedMacombsToyota.com, where you'll save big on hundreds of award-winning Toyotas. Log on today and get current incentives. Apply for financing. Get an instant value on your trade and schedule service 24-7, 365. So log on at RedMacombsToyota.com or hurry to the all-new Red Macombs Toyota under the giant flag on I-10 at UTSA Boulevard. RedMacombsToyota.com My name is Mark. But around HEB, they call me the boss of the sauce. My job is to travel Texas looking for the best sauces and sauces. After tasting lots of options, we want to try some new flavors. And that's how Mark's Good Stuff got started. These are unique products with delicious ingredients. They're inspired by Texas taste and everything I loved about growing up around here. Like this salsa, named for my old high school football number. This is the Taste of Texas department at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. 
Does this ever-changing weather have you concerned about your home's plumbing, heating, or cooling? Turn to the experts you can trust at Comfort Air Engineering and Carrier. Call us today or see what our customers are saying at comfort-air.com or primoplumbinginc.com. I've taken some amazing cars for a spin. But the Accord is truly extraordinary. When you find such a beautiful car with incredible performance, plus tons of high-tech features, you never want to get out of the driver's seat. Race into your Honda dealer and test drive the Accord, the 2018 North American Car of the Year. We all know the dangers of driving while impaired, but if faced with a decision to ride with an impaired driver, would teens do it? The night team's Tiffany Huertas with what researchers found. Driving while drunk or high, we all know it's dangerous. Oh the CDC says motor vehicle accidents are the leading cause of death and injury among teens and young adults, especially when you factor in alcohol, marijuana, and illicit drugs like ecstasy and cocaine. After a night of partying, kids may know they shouldn't drive. But do they get in the car when the driver is under the influence? Researchers at Colorado State University looked at surveys of teens across the U.S. as they transitioned from high school into adulthood. They asked, how many times in the past 12 months did you ride with someone who had been drinking alcohol, smoking marijuana, or using illicit drugs? A shocking one in three of the 2,000 in the survey reported riding in a car with an impaired driver in the past year. They weren't only getting in the car with their peers under the influence of alcohol or marijuana, but also older adults under the influence. That decision to ride with an impaired driver increased for people that binge drank alcohol or smoked marijuana. When researchers looked at students' living situations, results suggested those living alone rode with impaired drivers more than those living with their parents. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. Up next, from a major political race to a new monument and a royal event, we take a look at some of the major headlines as we look ahead to this week. Hey, Dad, what's up? Checking out the NewAncera.com website. It looks great and even easier to check out all the cars, trucks, and RVs. And great low prices, too. Everyone should think Ancira.com. Think Ancira. Hey, this is Randy Carroll. I'm here at Manrique Custom Vision with Richard Doinoff and Dr. Manrique. And I'm just going to make these guys stand here right now because they're lousy at doing commercials. But what they are good at <laughs> is taking care of your eyes. Nearsighted, farsighted, you have an astigmatism. Maybe you want to get rid of your reading glasses like I did. This is the team that you need to see because they're going to do it. They're going to do it right. And that's great to hear, Randy, because remember, we're here to help everybody get rid of their glasses and contact lenses. Because in my office, everybody's a superstar. Dinner table. Hey! Entertainment center. Luxury box. The best tailgates make the best tailgate parties no matter how you use them. Hurry in now to the Toyota tailgate event to get great deals on a new Tundra, Tacoma, or 4Runner. Right now, qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months, plus a $2,000 special edition bonus on a new 2018 Tundra Crew Max special edition. Toyota, let's go places. The world never stops. It's constantly changing, evolving, moving forward. And so are we. Introducing Spectrum Mobile. Built on America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. Combined with our ultra-fast nationwide Wi-Fi network. Choose from our unlimited data plan for $45 a line. Or our buy the gig plan for $14 a gig. Call 833-202-7283. Then enjoy a faster, better connection with streaming, surfing, gaming, or whatever you're into. All with unlimited talk and text and no contracts. Call 833-202-7283. The best network, the best devices, the best value. Switch to Spectrum Mobile today with our unlimited data plan for $45 a line and save up to 40% on your mobile bill. Or get our buy the gig plan and pay as you go for $14 a gig. All with unlimited talk and text. Call 833-202-7283 or visit SpectrumMobile.com. Your case at app, the information you need when you need it. Breaking news alerts that always link. And when KSAT News is broadcasting live, your KSAT app is streaming live. Local, trusted, and constantly updating. Your KSAT app, in partnership with Ansira. 
Well, a busy week has already begun, and there are a number of big stories we'll be reporting as we look ahead. Mark your calendars. Here's a peek of just some of those headlines. Looking ahead, tomorrow marks the first day of early voting for the special runoff election for the Texas Senate District 19 seat. Former state senator Carlos Uresti resigned earlier this year after being found guilty of 11 felonies, including securities fraud and money laundering. The race to replace Uresti pits Republican Pete Flores against Democrat Pete Gallego. Early voting will end on Friday and Election Day is on the 18th. And on Tuesday, sentencing is scheduled for the man who created the sand fracking company turned Ponzi scheme, which led to Carlos Uresti's downfall. Stanley Bates set to face a judge Tuesday morning. Tuesday will also mark 17 years since 9-11. And this year, a new memorial in Pennsylvania will honor the 40 passengers and crew members on Flight 93, the only flight that did not reach the terrorist's intended target that day. Instead, the passengers fought off the four hijackers on the plane before it crashed into a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. That's where the memorial will stand. The Tower of Voices is a 93-foot tall symbol of strength and courage. Crews are also in the process of installing 40 wind chimes. The sound will always be changing with the wind from the site. Um, and in that way, it's ever changing and becomes more of a living memorial. On Wednesday, crowds of people, including governors, mayors and company CEOs, are set to attend the Global Climate Action Summit in San Francisco. California's governor proposed the event after President Donald Trump vowed to pull the U.S. out of a landmark 2015 climate accord. Organizers for the summit say there will be major announcements on energy storage from a large utility company, as well as an announcement from a major food and beverage company. Also on Wednesday, Apple is expected to hold a special event. There are reports the company could announce new iPhones and possibly refresh the Apple Watch and AirPods. And on Saturday, expect a celebration among royals. Prince Harry will turn 34 years old. And that's a look at some of your headlines for the upcoming week. All right, let's take a look at your forecast. Earlier in the newscast, we showed you some video, and Devin Clark had that story of some flooding up near Bandera. And while we never like to see flooding like that because it can be destructive, once all that water runs off, goes down a little bit, gets where it's supposed to be, it's very beneficial for the aquifer. So you see the drainage and recharge zones here outlined in red. When we get rain there, that's when it's most beneficial for the aquifer. And here's how rainfall has played out since Labor Day. And we have a lot of pink and a lot of blue and a lot of orange and red within the drainage and recharge zones. And that's why the aquifer is up a little bit more than 16 feet since Labor Day. Now, technically, we're not out of stage two watering restrictions because the 10 day average is still below 600, um, 650 feet. It's at 648. Um, and so in the next couple of days, I think we'll see that 10 day average get above 650. So some promising news uh, when it comes to the aquifer and rain over the past uh, six days or so has favored our counties west of 35. But even in Bear County, especially the northern and western portion of the county, radar estimates that rainfall totals have been between six and almost nine inches of rain uh, near Bandera, 5.9 inches just to the southeast of Hondo, 6.2 inches. And then as you move further east, of course, those rainfall uh, radar estimated rainfall totals do start to drop off just a little bit, but uh, our folks off to the east of San Antonio have gotten a little bit of rain over the past couple of days. So we're going to see our pattern start to change just a little bit here through the middle of the week. The upper level low that's been sitting off to the west that's helped to bring in these rounds of showers and thunderstorms is going to slowly pull off to the north and to the east, and that'll take rain chances with it. However, those of you that missed out on the rain last week will actually have the better chances for rain as we head into this week. Looking ahead to your Monday, chances for passing showers overnight and through rush hour tomorrow morning, 86 tomorrow afternoon, but we're going to hold on to a chance for some passing showers during much of the day tomorrow. Look at Doppler radar right now. Pretty dry in Bear County. We do have some light showers south of uh, Bandera there and north of Castroville and Hondo. Hondo, the 
temperatures are moving away from you. Uh, Pearsall thunderstorm off to your west is moving to the west along 57 toward La Prior there and also some rain down near Carrizo Springs and a heavier batch of rain off just the, to the east of Catula that extends over closer to the coast. And I think our folks south of 90 south of Highway 10 are going to have the best chance to see uh, some rounds of heavier rain overnight tonight and that could lead to some minor flooding issues as we head into the start of the day on Monday here in San Antonio. Can't rule out some passing showers for your morning commute, so something to keep in mind and then into your Monday afternoon. Also some passing showers possible. This is not going to be a clean break as we end the rain chances. Flash flood watch in effect until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So do keep in mind we could have some heavier rain, especially off to the southwest, and we could still have some minor flooding issues. Hurricane Florence maximum sustained winds 90 miles per hour, gusting to 115 miles per hour. Expected to make landfall on the coast of the Carolinas Thursday evening as a Category 4 hurricane. A lot of rain expected along portions of the east coast in the mid-Atlantic. We've also got Hurricane Helene, Hurricane Isaac, still plenty of time to watch those systems, but we've also got a disturbance in the Caribbean that the National Hurricane Center will be watching as well over the next few days. Has low odds of development heading into the latter part of this week, but if it can make it into the Gulf, it could toss us some, some tropical downpours and some additional cloud cover next weekend. So we may be tweaking that forecast just a little bit. Keep checking, keep checking back in with us. No 100s. Very I nice. love seeing 80s on that list. Perhaps we've turned the corner. <laughs> fingers crossed. All right, talking about fingers crossed about fall, scary movie season is upon us. Not my favorite, but one film is scaring up some pretty big numbers. It's coming up in your weekend box office. If you've gone to downtown San Antonio lately, you can't miss these. Whether they're green or they're black, they seem to be on every corner, and they always seem to be on the go. But what about these? What San Antonio's new scooters could mean for the Alamo City's bike share program. We're Betty and Lewis of Pleasanton, and we love rebath of San Antonio. The old bathroom was outdated, and my wife needed a walk-in shower, and I said, let's see rebath of San Antonio. We picked what we wanted from head to toe. When they came in and did it in the final product, oh my God, it was exactly what we picked. My favorite part really is the whole bathroom, because I love it. <laughs> At Rebath, we only remodel bathrooms. If you're thinking about remodeling your bathroom, we would love to earn your business. Did you know in the state of Texas, you have the right to choose your collision center? That's right, you have the right to choose Miracle Body and Paint. We provide deductible discounts and rebates if you don't have one. Don't let your insurance company steer you to a shop where they receive your discounts. Choose Miracle Body and Paint. We have the most five-star reviews in Texas. We work miracles. Need an extra $4,500 cash? Mission Mitsubishi's Cash for Junkers has you covered. Buy a new Mitsubishi today and get an extra $4,500 junker bonus cash. That's $4,500 extra for the down payment, negative equity. Or keep the cash, trade or no trade, running or not. Buy a new Mitsubishi, get $4,500 junker bonus cash. While you're here, test drive the all-new Eclipse Cross. Mission Mitsubishi on San Pedro, just outside of Loop 410. America's number one Mitsubishi dealer. I'm Mark Langberg. I grew up farming and ranching on the south bank of the Llano River. I'm fifth generation. But when I got out of college, I went to work in the kind of the corporate lifestyle for a while, but it's just something about the roots here that pull you back. When we moved back in 1980, we secured a long-term loan for the purchase of this land. It's important to know who I'm doing business with, with Capital Farm Credit. They, they take care of your needs and your dreams and your goals. I like to say, uh, you know, we're all in it together, and together, we're better. Rush in and score huge savings on trucks and Jeeps at North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat. It's Ram Power Days. Get into a 2018 Ram Lone Star Crew Cab. $15,000 off and only $289 a month. And no payments for 90 days. Or get $7,000 off a 2018 Jeep Wrangler during Jeep Adventure Days. We have several to choose from at your savings destination. North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat. One block south of North Star Mall open Sunday. There are over 10 million auto accidents each year, most caused by distracted drivers. If you or a loved one are injured by a distracted driver, call us. We can help. Call 210-222-2288 or Google Carabin Shaw. Y'all 
think she's involved with anything serious. I know my daughter. Searching slipped back one position from fourth to fifth place with $4.5 million, while The Meg dove from second into fourth on ticket sales of $6 million. This is where the party is. Peppermint, the Jennifer Garner-led action flick, met expectations with a $13.3 million debut. Just ahead of it, Crazy Rich Asians fell out of first place with $13.6 million. We need to pray now. And whatever happens, whatever you may see or hear, keep your eyes forward and don't stop praying. The Nun screamed its way to a number one debut. The fifth entry in the Conjuring Cinematic Universe opened with $53.5 million, beating all pundits' predictions, which pegged the horror yarn for a 36 to 45 million opening. The Nun also set an opening weekend record for the Conjuring series of interconnected films, which includes the Annabelle movies. Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News. Looking ahead to an all-new instant replay in just a few minutes, the Fighting Texas Aggies nearly pulled off the upset of the year in college football. And who is to blame for the Texas Longhorns' poor second-half performance? Not me. I was rooting. So it's all, part, it's all part of tonight's debut for the new hour-long edition of Instant Replay. With more, let's check in with Greg Simmons. And you know what that means? More time, more coverage here. The Aggies gave the number two team in the country the fight of their life, and Texas nearly drops a game they should have easily won in their home opener. Coming up tonight on a brand-new hour-long edition of Instant Replay. And to be honest with you, um, on the clock, and a lot of the responsibility for the way that we played in the third quarter and, and probably early fourth was, was on me. Longhorn head coach Tom Hurd admitting to us that he is the blame for the Longhorn's poor second half performance over the way he handled halftime after Texas jumped out to a 21 0 lead in the first half, only to be outscored 21 7 in the second half. A barely winning against a team that were favored to beat by 22 and a half points, and it doesn't get any easier for the Horns. Find out who they have to face this coming weekend. The Texas Aggies almost pulled off the upset of the year in college football in just week two when they came within two points knocking off the number two team Clemson and wait until you see the play former Reagan quarterback Kellen Mon, who is now starting for the Aggies the UTSA Roadrunners got beat by Baylor in the Bears in their home opener and now are in danger of starting their season 0-3 due to who they have to face this coming weekend week two of the high school football season a little bit of everything from lightning delays postponements and cancellations but still managed to produce some pretty amazing highlights find out who made the cut tonight in the best of big game coverage in an all-new 12 stop 12 in high school football can the missions pull off the playoff upset over the hooks tonight after winning back-to-back -back games in San Antonio to force a fifth in the deciding game tonight in Corpus Christi? All that plus our Twitter poll debuts tonight in a new hour-long edition of Instant Replay. Do you, who do you want to win in the rematch between Canelo Alvarez and Triple G? Tonight, you decide Instant Replay is live. It's next with new segments and features on the Churchill and Trinity University volleyball teams. Again, more time, more coverage. 60 minutes of sports. You got it. Thanks, Very exciting. Greg. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Kick off September with a new car from West Loop Mitsubishi. Score big savings this football season on sale now. This new 2018 Outlander Sport at only $17,383 or $179 per month. Get this new sporty 2018 Eclipse Cross at only $18,497 for only $189 per month. For the lowest prices, shop online at westloopmitsubishi.net. And remember, we'll give you the best price in town or $1,000 cash. West Loop Mitsubishi, Loop 410 West, between Ingram and Culebra. We're open Monday through Saturday until 9 p.m. Thanks for letting us come into your home each week. We pray for you, and we're believing that you're going to see God's goodness in amazing ways. Stand still, and you'll see God deliver you. When you remain at rest, Almighty God fights your battles. Everybody around you is going to have no doubt the God you serve is an awesome God. I promise you this, every time you turn us on, we're going to try to inspire you, to challenge you, to help you become all God's created you to be. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. I'm Mike. I'm Jed. I'm Mark. And we're lifelong farmers who had the crazy idea to start an all-organic farm in South Texas. Here at Tenaza Farms, our soil is the key to growing incredible organic produce for HEB. They buy almost everything we grow. Over half a million pounds of produce every year. Like beets, Swiss chard, and kale. They buy it as fast as we grow it. 
guess we weren't so crazy after all. This is the Texas Organics Department at ATB. No store does more than my ATB. Prepare to be blown away. Anything you can do here, you can do here at RedMacombsToyota.com, where you'll save big on hundreds of award-winning Toyotas. Log on today and get current incentives. Apply for financing. Get an instant value on your trade and schedule service 24-7, 365. So log on at RedMacombsToyota.com or hurry to the all-new Red Macombs Toyota under the giant flag on I-10 at UTSA Boulevard. And that's all the time we have for all of us here at KSAT 12. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in to an all-new Good Morning San Antonio for all your latest overnight news. An all-new instant replay starts right now.